Всем привет, добро пожаловать на YouTube канал Вул Хоккей. В этом видео мы посмотрим обзор матча суперсерии 1985 года между Калгари Флеймс и Динамо Москва. В рамках суперсерии 85-86 советские клубы ЦСКА и Динамо провели турне по Северной Америке. Поединок против Калгари стал первым матчем московского Динамо с командой НХЛ в рамках суперсерии. Если ЦСКА уже давно имел грозную репутацию в Северной Америке, то динамовцы, всего один раз участвовавшие в суперсерии до этого в 1980 году, должны были продемонстрировать свою силу. В сезоне 85-86 Калгари занял второе место после Эдмонтона в своем дивизионе, а после и вовсе выбил звездных Ойлерс из розыгрыша Кубка Стэнли в семи матчах. Напомним, что нефтяники являлись действующими двукратными обладателями Кубка. В том плей-офф Флеймс дошли до финала, где уступили Монреалю. Московские «Динамовцы» по праву считались второй командой в стране. Подопечные Юрия Моисеева в сезоне 85-86 чемпионата СССР заняли второе место после ЦСКА, как и в сезоне 84-85. «Динамо» усилился лишь одним хоккеистом, это был игрок горьковского торпеда Михаил Варнаков. Матч между «Калгари» и «Динамо» состоялся 29 декабря 1985 года на Олимпик Седлдом в Калгари. Calgary Flames trying to get out of a bit of a depression of late. They've lost six straight in the National Hockey League. We mentioned that at the outset. One of the things we didn't mention is that they had lost five of those six games by a goal. They've been in the hockey games. They haven't uh, they haven't had great goaltending. Oh, yeah, they lost five by a goal, but six five. Anytime you get six goals scored against you, you're not going to win any kind of a hockey game in any kind of a league. And, and this club here, when you get uh, any more than three goals scored against them in particular, they're not checking. Their greatest asset is their size. Their greatest asset, and they're not using it, is how they play the game without the puck. They make the other team pay the price. When they do that, they're a constant winner. They're probably the second or third best team in the league when they play it mean, when they play it tough. This, yes, I guess they would, but uh, he's having a great year playing extremely well for Calgary this year. Flames the attack quickly, getting it across the Moscow Dynamo line. Quickly, it's cleared out. And claim for the Soviets by Svetlov. Number 14, he's to the Flames line and across. That one dribbled through, and Vernon had to play it. Around behind the board, Al McGinnis. He lost it. The Soviets trying to control in the flame zone. To the line and across. Here's Lanny McDonald, a chance down the left side. Penalty coming up. A little holding spotted by the Soviet referee. Gary Suter for the Flames, starting them up. Pass to the right side for Otto. Otto got around one check, going right out in front, cleared there. And the rebound came out, but the Flames couldn't control it. Back to the line. Lube winds up to one time at wide. Out in front once more. The Dynamo have it and start back. This is Skurduk, number seven. The Calgary line. And played it back into the neutral area. Pope again. This is McKinnis. Leading the Calgary rush. Pass on the right side. Bozak. Still has it. Steve Bozak. Lots of time on the power play for Calgary. And for Bozak again. He'll shoot this time. Tip just wide. Kerry Wilson with a puck. Around behind for Lanny McDonald. Bozak now. And for Wilson. He couldn't come up with it. McDonald. Taken out hardly by Shashov. Wilson right out in front, they score! Wilson for Bozak, 1-0 Flames! Well executed, Howie. Oh, you can't do it any better than that. Watch Wilson here, read it. Bozak has the puck behind the net and hangs onto it and hangs onto it here and puts it out into the middle. And Wilson came from deep, deep center field to put that one by the uh, goaltender Mishkin. Уже на третьей минуте встречи Калгари открыли счет, играя в большинстве. С передач Макдональда и Уилсона шайбу забросил Стив Бозек. 1-0. McDonald leaves it, Flames dump it in, after it, fares around. For the Soviets, back pass, Leonov. Calgary line, he dropped it and left it there for Antipov. Antipov into the corner, where the Flames control. And start out led by Berzeron. Backhand 
shot. Michigan had it well marked. For Berezan, just failed to make it. Soviets back to the line and across. That time, Leonov was checked. Here come the Flames once more. Berezan open out in front. Bozak still has it in the backhand. Bozak. And heads to the corner to take a pass. Now Krom goes in along with Wilson. Verbutkin is there for the Soviets, number five, along with 22, Varnikov. And Varnikov takes it out for the Moscow Dynamo. Svedlov couldn't take his pass. Now Svedlov got it across the line and goes into the corner with it. Svedlov right out in front. And Vernon is beaten cleanly on the setup from Svedlov, who slipped it out to Yashin, number 13. How quickly it can happen, it looked like an innocent play. Well, Svetlov missed, made a great, great pass out in front, but just watch, he heads behind the net. Now look at Yashin, just cruise in front, no one took a ride. На девятой минуте первого периода динамовцы сравняли счет. Отличился Сергей Яшин с передач Светлова и Варнакова. 1-1. Bumping the Flames along the boards. Calgary coming up with the puck, however. Leading the attack this time is Paul Baxter. Good pass for Lanny McDonald. Shot. He fired it just high and a little wide as McDonald went in. Good opportunity for the Flames. Soviets right back to the attack. This time, Leonov, number 23. He passed it out in front on the Soviet stick into the corner. And McDonald has it now for Calgary. McDonald pass on the left side for Berezan. Berezan going in, same opportunity. Michigan had the angle covered that time. Berezan not quite the scoring opportunity that McDonald had. He couldn't make as much out of that one, and Michigan handled it easily. McKinnis down. McKinnis passed in for Otto. Otto couldn't control it. Now it comes to Otto. One man to beat for Joel Otto. Waits for someone to help. And the shot comes through. Michigan made the first save and on the rebound. That time on Poplinski. Heavy hitting now as Quinn picks it up at the line. Fired it through Mays. Loose out in front. Michigan had it covered up once. It's still loose. And finally, Papagiev. The Soviets clears it out of the way. <laughs> Outside of the Calgary line. Well, two things stand out. First of all, as you're watching this game again, folks, you the short sticks that the Soviets use, they're so quick with the sticks, they're just a half a shade behind Gretzky. And Gretzky's miles ahead of most people in playing hockey in North America. They're just so quick with those sticks. The other thing is the way they forecheck. Uh, I'm just amazed that uh, that they pinch so much as they do, and they put three and four fellas in the, into the one corner. The other is they don't hang on to the puck for any length of time. Do they ever move it? They tic-tac-toe it around the ice, get uh, another team looking, particularly the uh, Calgary Flames tonight looking, and boom, let's bring a guy home free. They're amazing with the puck. Play continues in the flame zone. Soviets in control, cleared out in front, and nicely steered away that time. Colin Patterson. This is Jamie McCallum. Ahead for Patterson. Patterson finally digs it out, tries the long pass on the left side. That's Joel Otto. He couldn't handle it. Now for the Soviets. This is Yashin. Yashin over for Svetlov. Svetlov takes a check, loses the puck. Shot. Michigan had to play it. Out to the corner. And still hanging in there. Now the Soviets to the attack. Led by Vilya Litvinov. Saved by Vernon. Had to be sharp. And Leonov, 23, has the wingers. Shot from the point is wide. Rebound. Man out in front. They couldn't get it to Andy Pop. Flames break out of their end nicely. This is Hock and Lube. At the line. Lube chases after it. Has a chance. Lube working around, played it on the stick, and it bounced high and wide of the target. Lube has it once more, right out in front. And Risebro guessed wrong and went the wrong way, trying to come up with that puck out in front. Gary Sutter, six feet, 200 pounds, out of the University of Wisconsin. Flames have 
some pressure on now. Berezan goes to the net. They score. Berezan flipped it out in front. I think McDonald might have got a piece of it. Michigan was fooled on the play completely. It is 2-1. Calgary Flames. Something to cheer about at the Saddle Dome in Calgary. Well, another impression you get is that the Flames have had, oh, I'd say, five times better scoring chances so far tonight than the Edmonton Oilers had the other night. And there's the puck. На 15-й минуте периода хозяева снова вышли вперед. Шайба после прострела Перри Березина попала в конек динамовскому защитнику Василию Первухину и предательски залетела в ворота Мышкина. 2-1. He covered up well, but Vernon is still down as the Soviets swarm all around. Back to the line. Moving in for the shot. Verbuggen. And Mr. Vernon equal to the task once more. Jamie McCowan rattles it off the boards, kept in at the line by the Soviets. Back to the points. The big shot. Oh, it trickles through. And it didn't go in. Oh. But Vernon had a horseshoe in the seat of his pants that time. Still short-handed. Tarudinov working in brilliantly. Fired it just wide. And Vernon got a little lucky on that one. It bounced out. He broke. You know, they're that Soviet club when you saw them practice today. Go ahead. Here's Yashin. Taken out neatly at the line. Combination there with Sheehy. From a sharp angle, Yashin. Vernon had it red all the way. Bozikov now for the Dynamo. For Skurduk, number seven. He goes to the left side for Varianov. Now for Rudinov. Back to the line. Bozikov, the shot, blocked out in front. Still loose. Vernon is on it. Svetlov for the Soviets. Got through. Vernon made the first save and covered up on the rebound as Svetlov slipped through the Calgary Flames defense. Played it over for Perudinov. Now to Skurduk. Now they're dumping it in, Howie. Skurduk puts it in. Marianov after it cleared out in front. And Skurduk didn't miss by much. Good effort. There's Skurduk right out there. And Vernon, biggest save of the game for the Calgary Flames. Mike Vernon. Skurduk, point blank range. Yashin, number 13. Drops it back for Svetlov. Beautiful, Yashin got the goal. Mike Vernon did not stand a chance. It is even at two. Yashin, his second of the night. Well, it's some kind of a goal here, folks. Just the people sitting beside us here in the arena just went crazy. В середине второй 20 минутки Светлов, Варнаков и Яшин разыграли по-настоящему советскую комбинацию. Сергей Яшин вошел в зону Калгари, сделал скидку назад на Сергея Светлова. Светлов отдал налево Варнакову и воспитанник Горьковского торпеда передачи в одно касание вывел Яшина на пустые ворота. 2-2. Chance for the Flames going right in, and Michigan made the save on Bourgeois again. An opportunity for the Calgary Flames, but Michigan kept the hockey game even. 26 seconds to play in the period. 
Well, I had that feeling there. If the pass had been right on Bourgeois' stick, he would have been able to get a shot on the net. I want to see that again sometime. I keep uh, harping on the ability to pass the puck with something on it and uh, get it uh, close to the pass receiver stick and then the ability to be able to control it and make another pass or stick hand with it or make the shot. Got it out in front. No one there. Get after it now. Perudinov. This is Perudinov going to the backhand. Vernon made the save. Lost the puck in his case, but it stayed out of the net. Chance for the Flames. Win is going in. Sent it out for Lube, and Mishkin played the puck. Lube didn't get to it. Leonov for Zabrelchev. Mike Vernon the save at the other end. Now Skirdu has it along the boards for the Soviets. Took a shot. Vernon the save. Rebound. And it's gobbled up quickly by the Flames who start out. This is Kerry Wilson. Carry to the line. Wilson working right in. He got a shot on Michigan. Hard angle. But good effort from Kerry Wilson. Along the boards taken for the Soviets. And cleared quickly. This is Yashin. Yashin has Svedlov on the right side. Svedlov takes the shot. Scores. Mike Vernon didn't see it. Quick. I'm sure he was waiting for the three on two to develop. Svetlov just let it go high on the short side over the shoulder. And Vernon didn't even straighten up. Look, it comes to the middle and then bang, lets it go. На шестой минуте третьего периода динамовцы, благодаря отличным индивидуальным действиям Михаила Варнакова, впервые в матче вышли вперед. Передачи на свой счет записали Василий Первухин и Сергей Яшин. And played it somewhat carelessly. The Soviets, though. Back behind the line for Svetlov. Loose out in front. Wilson scores! You don't see that happen very often. A very costly miscue. Bilya Letinov. Gary Wilson has the Flames back to even. You know, this is a pass that never, never should be made under any circumstances by uh, anybody in any league. You pass a puck from a position... Спустя две минуты после гола Варнакова Калгари сравняли счет. С передачи Дага Райсбро отличился Кэрри Уилсон. 3-3. Poplinski has a man open. This is Otto, takes the shot. The save, another shot from Sheehy. A blistering drive that was blocked out in front. Nothing quite like it, Howie, when they get going. Boy, is it ever. We finally got a hockey game going here. The crowd's enjoying it. Perudinov played it out in front. Vernon made the save. It bounced out in front, but the Soviets were unable to get a shot at the rebound. Goes to the backhand. Vernon covered it and left it out in front. Flames start back quickly. Led by Dan Quinn. That's Huck and Lube now. Lube going in. Oh! Michigan made the save. It's in. It came out in front. Who we'll finally put it in, John? Howie? We may have to look at a replay. Well, here's Lube. And that's now the great chance. He tried to get it up high. Michigan made the save. На 11-й минуте периода Калгари вышел вперед. Казалось бы, Мышкин справился с броском шведского нападающего Луба, но на добивание первым успел Дэн Куин, который прокинул шайбу на пятак, она после серии нелогичных рикошетов оказалась на клюшке Ричарда Крома, который отправил шайбу в пустые ворота. 4-3. From the Soviet referee, that a penalty will be forthcoming. Ready and off for the Soviets to the Calgary line. Stops. Skirduk gets it back for Varianov. Shot saved. <laughs> that would have been a trip to the northern part of the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> Yashin. Now Svetlov took a shot wide. Back to the line, winding up for Vukin. Shot. Vernon is down. It was blocked before it got through. 
Two players are down behind the net. Leading the Soviet attack, Andy Pop. Over for Leonov, 23, back to the line. Luchenkov is 28. Leonov now. Luchenkov took the shot, the rebound is fired just wide, out in front. Zabrilchev missed a bit of an opportunity, pretty good open net. 32 seconds left in the power play. Andy Pop can't take a pass from Luchenkov. Soviet still control, this is Leonov, 23. Back for Luchenkov. And Leonov once more, who moves in to the side of the net. Zabrilchev got it to the line, blocked by Barazan. Had a chance to get it out of there and missed the opportunity. That shot glides his high over. Luchinkov kept it in at the line, fired it to the other points. Still a second left in the penalty. Now the Flames are back as Vernon makes the save. The Flames get back to full strength. And Farudinov, number 20 on the left side, face off in the Calgary zone. Flames lead it by a goal, but it's a long way from over against this Soviet club, the Moscow Dynamo. Patterson racing in after it got there first out in front. Oh! Bourgeois! Maybe got a little too fancy, maybe walked in a little too close, but he didn't even get a shot on that. This is Yashin, nowhere to go, but back to the line. Svetlov got it back to the other point. Big shot from the point from Mikulchik, but that one went out the leg and went into the corner. Chance for the Flames, the shot, Michigan. Made the save, McDonald was on the doorstep looking for a rebound. On the shot from Barazan, less than a minute to go. As the Soviets try once more, Zabrochev taken out heartily by McCowan. 50 seconds left. This is Andy Pop for the Soviets. Across the line, has to get around McCowan. It came out in front, but with 39 seconds to play, the Soviets have to retreat back to their line. Taking out their goaltender either, would you believe it? Long shot, Vernon handled it, left it for McCallum. 27 seconds to play. This is Otto in a race. Couldn't get there in time. That's their philosophy. They would rather lose four to three than take a chance and tie it than lose, or the other chance, lose five to three. Now to the final 10 seconds now as the Calgary Flames look for a victory over the Moscow Dynamo. Pretty well locked up as we'll have time for one more face out. Oh, the Calgary Flames have played well. Not very well, but they have played well. Just well enough to win. They've checked just hard enough to throw the Soviet team's game off a little bit. They're not nearly so cute, not nearly so consistent, not nearly so fancy with their passes. And they've been looking for that odd big white jersey taking a run at them now and again. And that is a very effective way of throwing a skilled team off just a little bit. And that's all it takes. Six seconds left on the clock. The face off right at the Flames line. But there's hardly any danger from that position, Howie, with six seconds remaining. on games that the Soviet officials have been terrible. This guy tonight did a, I think good job. a heck of a job. Real good job. Uh, I'm sure we're going to disagree with one or two things, but when it comes right down to it, he's probably right here around. So he's, he's done a good job. He's made a good game, well officiated. Long shot just wide. That ends it. Calgary Flames with a victory over the Moscow Dynamo. That is the first victory for an NHL team against the Soviets in this series. So far, the Edmonton Oilers lost so did the Los Angeles Kings to the other team traveling the uh, North American Tour right now, the Central Red Army. So the Calgary Flames, who beat a Soviet All-Star team a couple of years ago, as one of two NHL teams to win in that series, have uh, at least got the ball rolling to the NHL. Матч завершился победой Calgary 4-3. Это поражение стало первым и последним в рамках данной суперсерии для московских динамовцев. Спасибо вам за просмотр, если вам понравилось это видео, то ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь на канал и увидимся в следующих видео.